All right, here we go with number one. Remember to say it loud and proud as you play. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three. Four, and one. 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 And the goal speed to try and reach is 120. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three. Four and one, two and three, 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 four and one. Remember, the four minimum speeds for you to do every day is 60, 80, 100, and 120. If you need to go up in slower speeds, definitely do so. But at least those four are bare minimum. Alright, number two at 60. One, two, three, four. One and two and 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 three, four. One, two, three, four, one and two and 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 three, four, done. Number three. One, two, Three, four, one, two and three and 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 four. One, two, and three, and four, done. <clears throat> and twenty. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and 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 four, done. <clears throat> So, if memory serves correct, we started looking at doing the, uh, yeah, taking a look at the triad chords, bring it up, there you go, quick change here, there, so, basically it was good. Just focusing on the major triads <coughs> first is not a bad thing to do. If you want, that's highlight too much. If you want to just take it from like A to the D chord, to keep it simple, that'd be fine. The tricky stuff is going to be happening down here when you get to the G flat major chord. But if you feel up to it, give it a try, see what happens. You still got to use <coughs> all seven notes. Or keep in mind using all seven notes just like you did with that worksheet where you filled in sharps and flats. So, like with that A chord, A is always in the one position. So the second note has to be B something, third note has to be C something, fourth note has to be D something, fifth note has to be E something, and really going up to the fifth interval, so basically we can stop there in the explanation. So basically you're skipping every other note name. So, 
If you're starting on A, you got to skip B to C something, and then you got to skip D to E something. No matter what. Um, and yeah, so you use the major scale to figure these things out. So, like for the first <coughs> chord there, you start on an A note, you write out your A, and then you go one, two, three, three notes up in the major scale, you write down that third note, which is C sharp, and then you go one, two, three, four, five, and you write down the fifth note you get to, which is E, and then you go to the next chord. So, the same thing, so for the C chord, you start on the C note, and you write down the first, third, and fifth note in that major scale. For the G chord, you start on the G note and just go through the first five notes of the G scale and write down the first, third, third, uh, first, third, and fifth note you come to. So that's how it's going to go for all that stuff. <coughs> um, you know, if you want to ask questions throughout the week about it, do it. If you got any questions, let me know. And I'll see you again on uh, what day of the week? Yeah, Wednesday. I forget what day of the week it is today. All right, we'll see you then.